deficits or spending or budgets. Our deficits are falling at the fastest pace in 60 years. The budget that the Senate passed is at Republican spending levels. It's their budget that Democrats were willing to put votes on just to make sure the government was open while negotiations took place for a longer term budget. And what's happened, the way we got to this point was one thing and one thing only, and that was Republican obsession with dismantling the Affordable Care Act and denying health care to millions of people. That law, ironically, is moving forward. So most Americans, Democrats and Republicans, agree that health care should not have anything to do with keeping our government open or paying our bills on time which is why I will sit down and work with anyone of any party, not only to talk about the budget, I'll talk about ways to improve the health care system. I'll talk about ways that we can shrink our long-term deficits. I'll also want to talk about how we're going to help the middle class and strengthen early childhood education and improve our infrastructure and research and development. There are a whole bunch of things I want to talk about. Uh, in terms of how we're going to make sure that everybody's getting a fair shake in this society and that our economy is growing in a broad-based way and building our middle class. And by the way, if anybody doubts my sincerity about that, I've put forward proposals in my budget to reform entitlement programs for the long haul and reform our tax uh, code in a way that would close loopholes for the wealthiest and lower wage rates for corporations and help us invest in new jobs and reduce our deficits. And some of these were originally Republican proposals. Because I don't believe any party has a monopoly on good ideas. So I've shown myself willing to go more than halfway in these conversations. And if reasonable Republicans want to talk about these things again, I'm ready to head up to the hill and try. I'll even spring for dinner again. But I'm not going to do it until uh, the more extreme parts of the Republican Party stop forcing John Boehner to issue threats about our economy. We can't make extortion routine as part of our democracy. Democracy doesn't function this way. And this is not just for me, it's also for my successors in office. Whatever party they're from, they shouldn't have to pay a ransom either for Congress doing its basic job. We've got to put a stop to it. Last point I'll make. Uh, already this week, I had to miss critical meetings in Asia to promote American jobs and businesses. And although, as long as we get this fixed, that's not long-term damage, whenever we do these things, uh, it hurts our credibility around the world. It, it makes it look like we don't have our act together. And that's not something we should welcome. The greatest nation on earth shouldn't have to get permission from a few irresponsible members of Congress every couple of months just to keep our government open or to prevent uh, an economic catastrophe. So let's pass a budget. Let's end this government shutdown. Let's pay our bills. Let's avert an economic shutdown. Let's drop the gimmicks, put aside what's good for any particular party, and let's focus on what's good for the American people because they know we've got a lot of work to do. All right? So with that, let me take a couple of questions, and I will start with Julie Pace of AP. Thank you, Mr. President. Obviously, if Congress does pass a clean CR and a clean debt ceiling bill, those may just be short-term yeah. measures. If that happens, does your offer to negotiate with them on issues like health care and spending and uh, deficit reduction yeah. still stand in the intervening weeks if they pass measures that are just perhaps six weeks or two months long? Absolutely. I, I mean, what I've said is that I will talk about anything. What will happen is we won't agree on everything. I mean, the truth is, is that the parties are pretty divided on a whole big bunch of big issues right now. Everybody understands that. And by the way, voters are divided on a lot of those issues, too. And I recognize that there are some uh, House members, Republican House members, where I got clobbered in the last election. And you know, 